I'm Dr. Shankar Laure. Today, I'll be talking on planning for startup. Specifically, I'm emphasizing on ethical issues. Uh, in this, the flow of my presentation will be introduction to startup, ethics and types of ethics, principles of business ethics, ethical issues, responsibilities and ethics in startup, tools for ethical management, and importance of responsibilities and ethics. Now, what startup is exactly? Startup, it is newly established business, usually small, initiated by a single or a group of individuals. A small business established maybe by a single person. It may be one person company, or it may be a group of individuals. They are establishing it for the business purpose that is startup the startup is basically venture or a company it can be a venture or it can be a company it is started to provide a solution to certain problem basically it is needed to give solution to certain problems or certain issues in the society needed for nascent development so startup is basically a establishment which provides problem that have never been addressed before or it can be started for providing solution to the ones that are already existing suppose certain businesses are there certain issues are there people are ta tackling that business but certain issues are there so you can have improvisation in that particular issue or against a business so that can be coming under startup generally there are different steps for establishment of startup. So the first step is company establishment. It can be a company. It may be private limited or public limited. It may be a limited liability partnership firm or it may be, you can say, private firm or one person company. So you have to register a company. Then you have to go for registration for Startup India. You have to register your company under Startup India and then when you're working on this particular business, if your employee is more than 10, suppose there are 10 employees in your company, you can apply for ESI, Employee State Insurance Certificate. So this Employee State Insurance Certificate is useful for company. So ESI application. When the number of employees exceeds 20, then definitely you have to apply for PF, Provident Fund, and if the turnover of company exceeds 20 lakhs, then you can apply for GST. You can apply for even startup IT exemption certificate. You can apply for professional tax, shop, act, or can say establishment certificate. So these are the different steps that one can follow to establish entire setup and can say business uh, under startup. Now, while establishing this business startup or can say startup and running the startup, we are always thinking of different issues. So there are legal issues and ethical issues. So today we are emphasizing on ethical issues. So what ethical issues should be tackled and what comes under actually ethical issues? So basically ethics has three different can say things to learn one is what moral second is what value and third one is behavior of the person so the moral standard these are the standards about what is right or what is wrong so you have to decide what is right and what is wrong so if you are owner of company if you are director of the company or ceo of the company you should know what is right and what is wrong so you have to take decision based on your moral values what are values? Values are beliefs that guide society's decision and action towards variety of situation. So these are the values, belief system. And you have to take decisions and action considering the belief system in the society and custom in the society. So ethics is basically knowledge that deals with moral principles, values and behavior of a person. And that is most important in the business. So if you apply all these, in a business, then it becomes business ethics. So business ethics or business ethics is basically application of ethical principles 
in day to day conduct of business to examine and solve complex moral dilemmas so to solve or can say to tackle complex moral dilemmas you have to apply business can say ethical issues you have to can say use business, ethical issues in business then it becomes business ethics so ethics is basically deals with what is good and what is bad considering the moral duties and obligations so ethics commonly refers to the rules or principles that define right or wrong so that is what most important what is right or what is wrong if you decide based on ethical issues what is right and what is wrong so definitely you you are can say good in your business so there are different types of can say ethics basically individual or can say personal ethics everyone is what can say having some ethical uh, can say uh, things in a person so if you am following my own can say ethics these are called individual ethics or personal ethics then professional ethics and business or corporate ethics so there are three types of ethics so we'll concentrate on uh, business ethics now what are the principles of business ethics basic principles of business ethics are practice fair business so you have to keep in mind you have to practice a fair business second one is trust and honesty you should be trustworthy and you should be honest towards your can say employee towards your work and i can say what your commitments that you are given you should be honest in that justice and equality you should always follow the principles of justice and equality you should be impartial when you are working in organization and i think it is most important you should have a compliance with the law every year maybe can say what your it return hoga jo bhi ho sakta hai uska compliance karna isme bahut zaruri hai accountability you should be accountable social obligation you should know what are the social obligations and stakeholders interest due diligence that is review and audit to confirm the facts so you have to keep in mind so what you require in your business think that your stakeholders should be can say satisfied you have to keep them satisfied you should engage your employees and you should consult the people or can say experts you can say you should keep informed or you can always think of informing the stakeholders what you are doing so these are what can say important facets or principles of ethics so to know all the basic principles of can say ethics you should have your code of conduct so initially when you are establishing your can say uh, business you should can say develop your code of conduct or you should have your business ethics so you can make a formal document stating primary values and ethical rules of your startup so this is what a formal document so keep in mind while developing this formal document you can think of legal things and as well as ethical things so this is a formal document stating primary values and ethical values or ethical rules of a startup so it is expected that every employee of your business must follow these ethical rules or ethics so this is a formal document made for your organization and everyone should follow this accordingly in their in their day to day life or in day or uh, in their day to day uh, business so a formal document stating primary rules and it and the ethical rules a formal document stating primary values and ethical rules of a startup it is expectation of a startup that employees must follow it the code is useful in maintaining ethical behavior among the employees so it is very useful in maintaining the ethical behavior of all the employees so this is the code of ethics uh, developed for our own organization our own business laxicon bioorganic so we are running this business and this is the code of ethics of laxicon bioorganics now what are common unethical issues if you are knowing the ethical issues you will come to know what are the common unethical issues there are many things that we can see in unethical issues 
the first one is most common sometimes it is uh, can say applied in each and every business specifically in sales or in trading companies or trading organization insider trading unpublished information so sometimes you have some publications they are available in public domain but certain things they are not unpublished they are what kept hidden and they are used in trading businesses so insider trading should be can say not useful i think but people are using that is what an ethical issue then corruption and bribery so corruption it is what again common thing in the businesses so you have to can say uh, nourish and nurture your employees to avoid corruption and bribery discrimination so that is again important so there should no any discrimination based on can say uh, caste or based on can say race or maybe based on type of can say temperament or custom so you should avoid discrimination injustice you should can give justice to everyone so you should avoid injustice sometimes people are using window dressing that's what showcasing wrong images so certain certain products are there these are can say having kids very good packet but packaging itna acha hai uske andar kuch itna theek nahi when it goes in market log ek baar purchase karenge uske baad shayad andar ka jo bhi product hai agar wo theek nahi hoga to baad mein usko lega nahi koi so aapko ye dhyan mein rakhna hai aapka packing aur jo bhi hai aap jo window dressing karte hai wrong image agar aap display karte hai to ye theek nahi hoga so that will not useful for long run of the business adulteration sometimes suppose you are uh, in trading of what can say organic food or organic product or maybe can say some chemicals and you are adulterating it so it is not i think ethical thing unfair pricing so think of can say ideal price it should not be very high or very low so you have to keep the market in can say right direction and pricing in a proper way market manipulation sometime you are saying that market is very high sometime it is very low so that market manipulation people used to manipulate market and last one is fraudulent activity so one should avoid such activities but when you follow ethical rules so definitely this will not be there now what are the responsibilities and ethics that one should can say think of i think these are responsibilities of the owner or the business or the director of the business and ethics they should follow so responsibilities towards government you should comply all the things regularly so regular compliance is what the responsibility to responsibility towards government it is the main responsibility towards government submitting true and fair returns when you are filing it return it should be can say true and fair generating employment opportunities that is also important your business should generate employment to the people to the society in your local area and participation in government programs so always you have to take participation in government programs to support the government programs so these are what responsibilities towards government now there are certain responsibilities towards investor those who are investing in your business those who are can say financing your business so those who are investor towards them you should have certain can say responsibility and that is the first one return on investment you should give return on the investment otherwise people will not invest in your business developing quality product your product should be quality product if you don't have a quality people will not think of your business utilization of funds for the business purpose sometimes you are taking the funds or finance from others and you are not utilizing it for your business then the business will not flourish so that is what again important part there are certain responsibilities towards environment also paryavaran ke hame protection karna chahiye so towards paryavaran towards environment we are having certain responsibilities or responsibility of business towards environment use natural resources always try to use natural resources prevent or avoid pollution your business should not pollute the environment conserve nature so you have to think of conserving natural resources and you think utilizing them sustainably 
suitable use of raw materials and natural resources. Always think of this environmental issues and it is your responsibility towards environment. Towards society, providing employment opportunities. So you, your business should provide employment opportunities or can say employment to the people in that particular local area or where your business is actually running. Carrying out social work at large. So I think the social work is most important and social work is the love towards society you can experience it if you are working ethically and you are giving time to society you are you can say having some can say good uh, morals with you and where you are you can say taking participation in societal issues they definitely it is a love towards society and you'll get good experience out of that now certain responsibilities towards can say employee, so salaries based on skill. So whatever salaries that you have with you or you are paying to the employee, that should be given based on the skill, not based on can say the person. Okay. So its own skill, a person's own skill or can say what skill you should consider. Incentives and appreciation. Suppose somebody is working hard and giving very much benefit to this organization or to the business definitely you should give incentives and you to appreciate most important can say person in your organization so employee recognition is a little time and definitely it goes a long way so that's i think important employees recognition so these are what i think towards employee good work environment you should provide ideal work environment in your organization जो इकोसिस्टम आपका है इस इकोसिस्टम में सबको फायदा होना चाहिए सब एक दूसरे को पर डिपेंड होते हैं और इसमें आप अच्छा इन्वायरमेंट देंगे ये पर्यावरण तैयार करेंगे इकोसिस्टम बनाएंगे इसमें ज्यादा फायदा सबको होगा आपको भी होगा बिजनेस अच्छी तरह फ्लरिश करेगा इंसेंटिव देना अप्रिसिएशन करना सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है टुवर्ड्स कस्टमर ना वट आर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टुवर्ड्स कस्टमर सो कस्टमर्स रिक्वायर गुड क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट आइडियली पैक्ट and without any adulteration so supply better quality product better quality good acha product agar pack karte acha product of design karte aur society mein jayega to log definitely usko lenge so customer will be attracted towards quality even pricing is most important so affordable price quality product and useful product will attract customer supply goods at the right time अगर आपने कहीं कमिटमेंट दिया है आपका प्रोडक्ट दो दिन में आ जाएगा एंड इट सपोज इट विल टेक मोर टाइम अगर ज्यादा टाइम लगता है तो पीपल विल नॉट गेट अट्रैक्टेड सो ये होगा कभी जब आप टाइम पे अपना प्रोडक्ट डिलीवर करेंगे और कस्टमर को सेटिस्फाई करेंगे सप्लाई गुड इन रिस्पॉन्सिबल प्राइस और रिजनेबल प्राइस एक अच्छा प्राइस में अगर आप सप्लाई करते हैं तो लोगों को ज्यादा फायदा होगा सो इफ वॉन्ट टू रन योर बिजनेस इन लॉन्ग वे आर कैन से Towards can say right side in right direction. So, you have to take all the ethics and responsibilities. Now, what are the tools for ethical management? How to manage all these ethical issues and can say avoid unethical things in your business? So, there are certain tools to manage. First tool, we see is the top management commitment. Your top management is the commitment that is most important. Then, ethical training. आपके एम्प्लॉयज को आपको एथिकल ट्रेनिंग देना चाहिए सो डायरेक्टर्स एंड मैनेजर मस्ट बी कमिटेड एंड डेडिकेटेड दे मस्ट बी कमिटेड एंड डेडिकेटेड अब उसका कमिटमेंट एंड डेडिकेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट दे मस्ट एक्ट एज अ रोल मॉडल एक रोल मॉडल उनको बन के रहना है अगर अच्छा डायरेक्टर होगा अच्छे मैनेजर्स होंगे अगर वो सही में अच्छा काम करते तो सब एम्प्लॉयज के लिए रोल मॉडल बन जाते एंड एम्प्लॉयज विल वर्क फॉर यू so you have to lead your company in the right direction so top management commitment is most important agar ek aapne ek commitment diya agar wo commitment follow nahi kiya to next time aapke par koi bharosa nahi karega then ethical training or ethics training ethical training enables manager to integrate employees behavior in ethical arena with major organizational goal ye jo important is main ethical training enables मैनेजर्स टू इंटीग्रेट एम्प्लॉयज बिहेवियर ये एम्प्लॉयज का जो बिहेवियर होता है वर्कर का जो बिहेवियर होता है 
उसको अच्छी तरह आप टैकल कर सकते हैं उनको साथ में लेके अच्छा आप आगे जा सकते हैं बट उसके लिए उनका ट्रेनिंग होना जरूरी है सो ट्रेनिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट नेक्स्ट टूल है इथिक कमेटी यू शुड हैव ए कमेटी इन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द कमेटी शुड कम्प्राइज और कैन से कमेटी शुड हैव इंटरनल एज वेल एज एक्सटर्नल डायरेक्टर्स आपके कंपनी में इंटरनल एज वेल एज एक्सटर्नल डायरेक्टर होने जरूरी है इसेंशियल होता है एंड दिस डायरेक्टर विल टेक केयर ऑफ कैन से इथिकल इश्यूज सो दैट कमेटी विल रिव्यू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पीरियोडिकली एंड डेफिनेटली विल हेल्प the employee to go in the right direction ethic audit so ethics audit assessment of ethical policies and serious deviations to take remedial actions agar aapke ethical code aur jo code of conduct isme koi deviation aa raha hai koi farak aa raha hai koi difference aa raha hai usko kaise aap fir line pe laaye uske liye aapko audit karna zaruri padega so auditors ethic auditors should be there ethic hotline ये सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट है अगर आपके कंपनी में कहीं फ्रॉड हो रहा है कहीं गलत हो रहा है तो आपके वर्कर्स को आपको एक हॉटलाइन देनी जरूरी होती है वो वहां से फोन कर सकते हैं ये ट्वेंटी फोर बाय सेवन आपका हॉटलाइन चालू रहेगा और कहीं जहां पर गलत हो जाता है वहां से आपको फोन आएगा यहाँ पर गलत हो रहा है यहाँ पर सही हुआ और कोई एम्प्लॉय अच्छा काम कर रहा है उसका भी इंफॉर्मेशन आपको मिलेगा और जो नहीं कर रहा है उसका भी इंफॉर्मेशन मिलेगा ये इथिक हॉटलाइन इज ऑल्सो अनदर टूल that can be used very well in management of business okay uh there are certain importance of responsibilities and ethics in startup so certain importance are there is sab ka mahatva hota hai kuch ka kuch mahatva hai isme aur mahatva kya hoga usme agar aap achhi tarah follow kar dete hain to aapke customer satisfy rahenge satisfy your customers so this is the responsibility if you follow इट इन प्रॉपर वे प्रॉपर डायरेक्शन आपके कस्टमर सेटिस्फाई रहेंगे अगर आप इथिकली जाते हैं टाइम पे कंप्लायस कर देते हैं तो इट विल अवॉइड लीगल प्रॉब्लम आपके जो लीगल प्रॉब्लम है बाद में आपको कोर्ट में जाना पड़ेगा आपके अगेंस्ट एक्शन हो सकती है ऐसे सिचुएशन में अगर आप इथिकली जाते हैं तो आपको ये करना नहीं पड़ेगा देन इथिकल इशूज इफ यू कैन से टैकल प्रॉपरली आपके बिजनेस में कोई माल प्रैक्टिस होगी नहीं सो इट विल स्टॉप business mal practices it helps business to survive longer aapka business bahut dino tak acha chalega protection of consumer right aapka business ye consumer right protection jo isko follow karega then build goodwill of business aapka business ka itna naam hoga itna goodwill hoga to kahin se bhi aapko koi bhi pehchan lega aapko jyada customers milenge aur aapka business flourish hoga so this is most important here to develop goodwill you should follow ethical issues and societal welfare so this is seventh one if you are can say taking part in a societal program or programs of society in your area or even in government program ye aapko sabse zyada fayda milega so at the end i will say ethical people attract other ethical people so if you are ethical you will attract other ethical people and flourish your business in right direction and go long way and on other side unethical people will attract other unethical people and your business will be a corrupt business and it will not go longer way or not go a long way thank you